Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle. Welcome to my channel. So today I want to talk to you guys about the bed bug situation in Paris. So I recently got back from Paris and I've actually had a few questions about the bed bugs. So I really wanted to make this video to let you guys know my experience. I also want to let you guys know how I check for bed bugs. So what to look for. And then I also want to let you guys know how you can prevent getting them and how you can kill them if you do happen to come across okay, them. So I was extremely concerned about the bed bug situation. I was watching TikToks night after night. There are people showing them in the subways. There's people showing them on the airplanes. I don't know if it's all true. I was just really paranoid and I learned how to look for them and I'm going to tell you guys my experience. Okay, so I got on the flight and I looked at the seat and everything looked okay. But then again, when you get on the plane, it's actually quite a bit darker than you think. Like it's hard to look. You would really have to grab your flashlight on your phone and do a deep look. But at the same time, you don't really have a lot of time because you have to sit down right away. And then there's like people wanting in your aisle and it's a whole situation. So you just really gotta sit there. And also you don't have a choice. You can't switch seats. So even if there was, bed bugs, like what would you do? I would say um, if you are really, really freaked out and you're going on a overseas flight, they do give you a blanket. So you could always just use that blanket and like put it on the seat and then sit on the blanket, which I think would be a really good idea. Um, but yeah, so I didn't get anything from the plane. Then when we got to the hotel, I was so paranoid and, and I wanted to check everywhere uh, before we settled on our room. So um, I also want to let you guys know, though, that we did not encounter any bed bugs. Like, Yay! Yay! Whew, I, I was just so uptight about this, you guys. Like, bed bugs sound horrible. So I'm gonna post some pictures of what it looks like if you get bit by these, so you know what to look for if you experience some bites when you're traveling. And um, I know bed bugs are a big deal in a lot of major cities. I know, for instance, living, I live right outside of Vancouver, BC, and I know after we had the Olympics, supposedly there was a big bed bug infestation in Vancouver. I have stayed in Vancouver many times since. We've never had bed bugs, but then again, I don't think I took it as seriously because I was a lot younger. And I, I don't recall ever checking mattresses. I would check sheets, but never like really, really check. But anyways, yes, we traveled um, around France a little bit. So we did five nights in Paris. We were fine. We stayed at the same hotel the entire five nights. And we went to uh, the countryside in, uh, it's called Pont Torsen. It's right by uh, St. Mont Michel. We were fine where we stayed there. And then we went to Rems, which is in the region of Champagne. And we stayed at a hotel two nights there and we were fine. And we made it back and we were fine. So very, very fortunate. Okay, so this is how you check for them. And this is what I did. So you take a credit card or the hotel card that they give you, like your hotel key and you want to, you can do it with the sheets on, like with the one sheet on, and then like I would do it with the sheet and then I would take the sheet off and do it without the sheet and look better, but you take the card and you go along, like say this is the card and this is the bed, you go like push really hard and go along like that, along all the edges of the mattress, and so what you're looking for is you're looking for any spots of blood because when you use the card, you should be squishing them a bit, which should extract some blood. So you'll start to see some marks on the sheets. And then also, so I would do that and then I would remove the sheets on all corners and I would inspect the seams of the mattress. I also would use my flashlight on my phone if I seen anything, even the slightest little black speck I would investigate it with my phone <laughs> flashlight and um, you want to look for black spots you want to look for little reddish brown bugs you want to look for their eggs and the babies which are like a 
like a really pale creamy color and very tiny like little flakes almost definitely you want to check all of the seams of the mattress you want to check the pillows you want to and especially you want to check the mattress um closer to where your head would be because bed bugs are actually really attracted to co2 so that's why they come towards us and they want to attack us um so near our heads they're tends to be more of an infestation. So you can even check like the headboard and crevices around there. I've heard that they even go into the walls. I've heard that if there's like any peeling wallpaper, basically any crevice, they will hide in the crevice. So you wanna check that. I'm gonna also insert pictures of what they look like. They are very tiny. Um, they grow to I believe the size of an apple seed and then they're like brown and reddish color um, and then the when they're babies I think this is when they're babies they're kind of like black it could be wrong really anything going on just check for it if you do happen to find anything request to change rooms and then if you're still encountering the situation personally for me I would leave because I cannot deal with that i'm just like way too freaked out with the situation but okay so say your place is good and this is what i did so i fortunately thankfully never found any bugs on the mattress or anything but out of caution i still kept my suitcase done up at all times unless i was going into it and then i would keep it on its wheels and i would just keep it away from the bed if you really want to be extra secure, you can and you should keep your luggage actually in the bathroom. And then one step further would be to keep it in the shower or keep it in the bathtub. Also, this is what I did. So we have a really small steamer. One of the things that kills bed bugs is hot steam. So what I wanted to do is if we couldn't change it, like if we, because we paid a lot of money for our hotel, so we really like had to stay there, I felt like. So if we did encounter bed bugs, my plan of action, really, if it wasn't like that bad, if it was just like one or two we found or something like that, is I wanted to steam them with the steamer. So I brought the steamer. And then also I was thinking in case, like if we did happen to have like one bite or like any paranoia at all, um, I was gonna like steam all of our clothes before they went back home with us. Another thing I did is I brought garbage bags because in case we encountered anything, I wanted to be able to completely like seal up our bags and like close, seal certain clothes off from other clothes and so I could organize it better for when we get home so that there's no infestation going into our home. So that would be easier to manage with the washing machine and then the dryer situation, like just bring the clothes in the garbage bags, leave the suitcases outside. So I do think if you are traveling to Paris just out of uh, caution I would definitely advise to bring garbage bags because it just makes it a lot better like and in my opinion too with socks like I'm I'm just such a germaphobe as it is like I don't even need bed bugs to make me <laughs> paranoid um, but with socks like keep them in a separate bag than the rest of your clothes just in case that you took something home on your socks you don't want it just going everywhere in your suitcase right another thing something that I did and I like to do this in hotels is get a very, very cheap pair of slippers and then wear those every time you're in the room. Do not put them onto the bed. Just every time you get up to go to the bathroom or to get dressed or anything like that, put the slippers on and then it, oh, it will just keep your feet safe from if there are carpets in the hotel room, just in case there is something in the carpet. Um, it just keeps it off of your socks and then what I do too is when I leave that hotel, I will just leave those slippers. They can go in the trash. I don't care because they're cheap and they're dirty and whatever. What happens if you do find bed bugs and you can't get out of this situation? You have to stay in that room. So one of the things like I mentioned is you can steam them to death. So if you can get your hands on a small steamer, bring that and then maybe bring a extension cord, just a small extension cord in case um, the cord is not long enough to reach because you have to think like, where's the nearest outlet to the bed? What if it's further than the, the cord on your um, steamer, right? You never know. So think about that. Another thing is they will die with rubbing alcohol. So you can always bring in advance or else just purchase there. I would advise like a small uh, 
mister bottle and then fill it with rubbing alcohol and just go and like spray the absolute hell out of them. Another thing that kills them is diamaceous earth and you can find this at a garden shop or a Home Depot or something like that. I, I have some that I bought from Canadian Tire here in Canada. That will also kill them. It is a white powder. It's all natural. It is actually, um, it's like fossilized seashells or something like that is what it's made The ways of. that I've mentioned are ways that like you can easily do when you're traveling to stay safe. Yeah, I want to mention, I wrote down how to stay safe coming home. So yeah, definitely when you go to pack up, this is what I did too, is just check your clothing. Also, I would go into the bathroom or something and just shake every item off. Um, so yeah, just check everything, anything that's like been on the floor, touch the floor, bag it up separately. Um, another thing you can do when you get home is just keep your luggage outside if you are paranoid at all and then just bring your clothes in. Like for us, we're really lucky because our laundry room actually has its own door to outside. So it, it would be easy to like just bring your stuff around the back and then um, it's not like going through the rest of your house. I also carried our luggage so it wasn't, uh, I didn't wanna wheel it through the house. I just like, what I did when I got home is I brought our luggage to our laundry room. I washed everything, even if it was stuff we didn't even wear and it was still clean from when we left, I washed it anyways, just because I wanted everything to be thoroughly washed and I wanted what could be dried to go in the hot dryer. And that is another way you can kill bed bugs is with drying them in a hot dryer. But the thing is when you're away, unless you go to a laundromat, like how are you gonna do that? But yeah, just keep your stuff separate. Do not bring it into your bedroom. Don't like lie it on the floor there. They will get out and go places. So when we were in Paris, we did not take any public transit. Jay didn't wanna risk it. And I mean, I didn't wanna risk it either, but I would say if you do have to take public transit, stand where you can stand. So if you're on the subway, Definitely do not sit, you wanna stand. Do not sit on those seats. I don't care how tired you are, don't sit on the seats. We took Uber everywhere we went and um, it was expensive, but I would also say this though. Yes, the Uber is expensive, but in a way, like this is how I justified it in my head as well. Okay, number one, I think we're definitely like keeping the bed bugs away, like at bay at least, right? Um, number two, I looked at it kind of as like a sightseeing tour because we're up above the ground. Everywhere we drive to, we can see, like we got to see so much more of Paris than we would if we went on the metro. Yes, it costs a lot more money, but just think of it as like sightseeing tour, like I'm going on another, another sightseeing tour today. So yes, it's gonna be some more money, but you're gonna see so much more of your trip and I actually think that the money is worth it. So, and then another thing is the Metro, there are a lot of scammers on the Metro, so you also prevent being scammed or having your phone stolen or your wallet stolen, so there's those benefits as well. So I think that taking the Uber is very justifiable in those circumstances, and it really was for us anyway. Another thing too I wanna to mention when you go to book, and I need to take this more seriously, when you're reading the reviews, what I always do is I go to the negative reviews. So if you're on Google reviews, for instance, make sure that you're sorting it by negative or lowest because for whatever reason, it will push up like the most helpful or the, the most recent or like a lot of times you are not seeing those bad reviews and you wanna see those bad reviews because you wanna see if there is a consistency in them. And so where I stayed, I, I think when we booked, I noticed like one person comment, um, it wasn't like the cleanest, but because I only seen one person, I was like, oh, it should be fine. But I forgot to go to like the lowest and just keep going through them. So when we got back, I was curious, like did other people comment on the housekeeping? How did they feel? So I clicked the lowest um, and I seen it consistently pop up. So those, I just wanna say like if, there are any mentions of bed bugs and actually there was one place that our travel agent was suggesting us stay at and I looked at the reviews when I was sitting there and I'm so glad I did because one of them popped up saying there was bed bugs. It was only one review and I didn't like spend a lot of time looking, but it doesn't matter. In my opinion, if you see that one review, take it seriously because 
that might be have been the only person that left the review of five people that encountered bed bugs, right? So I would say just take it seriously. And the reason why is because I didn't take the cleanliness comment seriously, but then when I uh, went in further, when we returned and looked more into it, I did see quite a few people say that the housekeeping wasn't really good. So overall it was a good place, but the housekeeping just wasn't really good. And I just wish I would have taken that a little bit more seriously. But anyways, like I said, we are so fortunate that we did not have bed bugs because in my opinion, that is the, the most important part. So we're really, really fortunate. So I hope this video helped you if you are going on travels and hopefully I um, made you feel a little bit better because the way that the TikTok videos look is it looks terrifying and it looks like they are crawling all over the city. Another thing I wanna to mention too is they can be in theaters, so just like be mindful of that. We went to Moulin Rouge, we were fine, but I don't know how it is for movie theaters and such. So in my opinion, unless you need to go to the movie theater, I just would not go to the movie theater. But yeah, we did like all the touristy stuff uh, and we were totally fine. So thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.